Hi everybody, this is Mark, and I'm going to show you how to make a full width homepage banner for the Music Maker theme. So this is the Music Maker theme. Um, it's just been modified with CSS. So let's let's look at how the theme looks by default. Um, a lot of dark colors in the header, and so what we're doing here with uh, what I'm going to show you is I'm making the header white. I'm adding a full width background image and I made the background white. So let's compare them again. And so I'm gonna show you how to do this and you don't have to change any of the theme code. We're just doing this all with CSS. Um, I wanna explain how it works a little bit cause it's kind of a hack. It's not, um, it doesn't, it may not work the way some people want it to work, but it's an option. So what's going on here is that there is a div for the homepage banner and uh, what we're doing is that we're adding code to make the homepage banner div 100% and we're adding a background image to it and what you see right here for the text this is the regular homepage banner but it's a transparent PNG with text so this whole banner will not change the text will change it can animate to multiple images or messages or slides but this background will remain the same and the text can change so I'm going to show you how to do that. So in this post, you want to download the sample files. I'm going to click save, um, link as, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. And these um, PSD files, Photoshop files, are samples for you to work with so you can uh, you know, know what you're doing. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to the website. So I'm going to remove this homepage banner because it's not going to work for this. So I'm going to go to dashboard, I'm going to go to home page banner, and I'm going to unpublish this. Okay, so from here I want to copy this code. Uh, this is the CSS code to make all those changes happen. These are CSS comments so you can read to understand what certain things are doing um, with this code. So you can remove features, modify features, you could do whatever works for you. So I'm going to select all this. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to click theme options. <clears throat> Under appearance, I'm going to paste in all this code. And I'm going to click save options. I'm going to visit the website. And you can see a lot of changes have been made. <clears throat> the header is white. The icons are gray. Um, the background of the site is white the footer is white and that happens all with that CSS so there's no home page banner right now so let's uh, do the home page banner so I'm going to open the sample PSD file for the home page banner so I'm going to open it up in Photoshop and so this is a blank PSD um, is this it just has the proper dimensions which is 2000 pixels by 500 pixels and I'm going to drag an image in here that I want to use and I'm going to resize it. So you probably you want to find an image that will look good resized. Um, so pretty wide. And so I'm going to position this. And I have a layer tint, um, like a black tint, so I can uh, so the text will be a little more readable. So I just drag that below the dark tint. And so you can you can play around with this image, you know, whatever you want to do. I'm going to save it, save it as a JPEG, and this is a banner BG image. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to go back into WordPress, and what you want to do is that you want to go to a rollover media and click Add New. So we're adding this background image manually. And I'm going to drag the image into here. I'm going to click Edit. And I'm going to copy this uh, file location for the image. So that's where the image location is stored on your server. I'm going to click Theme Options. And I'm going to go to the CSS that we just added. So you need to update the, the image location where you see background image. And I'm going to paste that in there. And I'm going to click Save Options. So this is the website. I'm going to refresh. Okay, you can see that the background image is 100%. And so now, now we want to add text over the image. 
So I'm going to minimize this window and I'm open up the sample text. So when you download the, uh, the Photoshop file, this is what it'll look like. There is no background. This is transparent. So this is what you want. You want to have a transparent background so the text can be laid on top of the image. Um, I'm just going to export this image. So I'm going to go to save for web. And what you want to do is that you want to save it as a PNG file. PNGs are transparent um, and they, they look well on top of other images. So save it as a PNG. And I'm going to save um, banner one. Okay, so I'm going to go back to um, WordPress. And I'm going to add a banner. So I'm going to roll over home, home banners. I'm going to click add new banner. I'm going to name this banner one. I'm going to click add an image and I'm going to drag my banner into here. I'm going to click set featured image and I'm, click, I'm going to click publish. And I'm going to add a second um, image as well just to show you the, the, how the animation works. Banner 2, add an image, upload files. I'm going to drag a, another image that I made as a temporary file. And I'm, I'm going to click set featured image. I'm going to click publish. And let's visit the home page. I'm going to refresh. So you can see it working here. Uh, two different images playing beats for sale and new beats added weekly. So once again, this background image will not change. You can still link your banners to different parts of your website if you like. It will be this image area. This must be a transparent PNG file. And right now it only supports images as text. Um, so I don't I don't know if I'm gonna work on the text option when adding a banner, but images work fine. So I hope that this helps some of you guys. Thanks for watching.